Hi everyone, today we are going to teach another level five trick with a fishing rope or go fishing. My name is Adele and this is my dog Misty and we are Animal Tactics. All right, so what do we need to teach our dog to go fishing? Well, simply, a bucket or a basket or in my instance just a little felt bag that Misty has grown to love through all her trick training and a piece of rope or another piece of apparatus that I've liked to use here is just simply a dog lead where I've just hooked it around and clasped it and I shove the the clasp end at the end where the handle is on my little basket so this is where Misty is going to go and what she is going fishing with today. Now the idea of this trick is there are a couple of methods that we're wanting to see your dog achieve. And it's an either or situation. It doesn't have to be both. Okay, so every dog is different and we are okay at seeing your dog fish in alternate ways. So the way Misty likes to fish is quite simply, she realizes she has to hold on to the rope or the lead and then she pulls herself up to pull the basket up in front of her. Now, you may find that some dogs like to use their paws and pull it up to them, and that's perfectly okay too. The idea is just getting your dog to perform a few tricks together, so we're chaining and linking behaviors. So first of all, having them comfortable holding onto a rope, yes. So this is the first stage. We just simply want your dog, yes, and reward. Just touching that rope, Yes, reward. Getting used to the, the feel in their mouth. We wanting to hold. Yes, good girl. We wanting her to hold it for an extended time. This is the next progression. So by this time, you, if you're getting to a level five trick, as you can see, hold, good job. Um, we're wanting them to hold on to something in their mouth for an extended period of time quite comfortably. So this took Misty a long time. If you haven't already, go back and watch our hold videos um, to getting them to hold on to something. Hold on. And as you can see, she's quite happy. Good girl. Misty, hold it. Yes, good girl. So first of all, first thing you want to do is get them used to touching it, sensation of it then to hold on to something. Now let's get her onto an elevated platform ready to collect her fishing basket. So Misty, up, come around. You can leave your basket if you like, or you can take it with you. Up you go. Good job. She, as you can see, she loves her basket. Let me move this pillow from under your bum bum. Okie dokie. So here is her fishing basket. The first thing I'm wanting her to do is quite simply reaching down and holding on to that. Good job. Again, Misty, get it. Hold. Yes, good girl. Then from here, hold. Oh, as you can see, she's starting to lift. She's already progressing to the next level. Hold, good girl. Yes. Eyes on the treat bag. Yes, good girl. So you notice I extended my hold then. I actually didn't use the verbal cue hold. Hold. She's already got it. She knows. Look, she, she's wanting to work for this liquid gold right here, this pot of gold. So she knows that she'll get a reward if she does as she's told. And the longer I hold her, as you can see, she's already started to lift the basket off the floor. So she's getting the idea. Good girl. So patience is the game with this one. This has taken me quite some time to teach her. Yes, good girl. Now, as soon as you use your reward marker, that's either your yes or your clicker, you can use both one, I don't care. At this stage, we are not um, playing for sheep stations here. We're just wanting to see people interact with their dogs. So use your reward, yes, or your clicker and reward your dog. Um, they will then stop and drop the apparatus um, as you can see, she's doing everything she can for me right now to get this reward. Beautiful focus. Good girl. Yes. Good job. Okay. So what I'm wanting to do, to do now is progress this so that she can grab this rope and lift, lift. Good girl. Look at that. Good girl. Misty, get it? Fish, fish. Good. Good girl. 
Now let's see if I can get it to hold at the top. Fish. Up. Hold. Whoop, she didn't hold it. Let's try again. Fish. Hold. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Massive jackpot reward right there. Sorry if I yelled in the microphone at you guys. But this is huge progress. Um, massive, massive progress. So reward your dog. That's exactly what we're wanting her to do. She's now got that, that massive jackpot reward. She's like, yeah, I got this. I know what I'm doing. Up you go. Let's fish. Fish. Up, up. Good girl. Now, like I said before, she likes to hike and lift and that's perfectly fine. If they wish to use their paws, grab onto the rope and pull it back and stay hanging over the edge, that's perfectly fine. Um, what we're really wanting to see is those chained behaviors. So grabbing onto something, holding onto something, understanding the cue, lifting up. So let's fish, fish, fish. I'm gonna add a cue word, fish, fish. Come on, up, up. Yes, good girl. So I'm gonna try to link the fish word now. We haven't done this yet. This is probably the last chain. Fish, fish, yes, good girl. So you can see that I'm showing her with my hand. Back, 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 she knows that. Fish, yeah, good girl. Now I'm gonna try to just slowly move my hand out. Let's see if I can up the ante. Go fish. Yes, good girl. So I'm not moving my hand as much. Good job, Misty. Last one. Let's see if I can do it without my hand. Fish. Yes, good girl. Fish. I'm going to make her think about it. Nah, that's cheating. Ta. Ta. Fish. Gonna wait until she offers it to me. If you haven't watched our video about reward markers, yes, good girl, jackpot, jackpot, jackpot. I waited, I let her think about what is it exactly that's mum wanting me to do right now. Let it go. See if we can repeat that again. Go fish, fish. Yes, good girl, good girl. Now I'm just gonna delay the reward marker at the top there so she holds it. Let's see what happens. Fifty. Good girl, she got it, she's got it, she's nailed it. Let's go fishing. Fish, oh, she's grabbed the basket, ta. We want her to grab the rope so we're not gonna reward that one because that's not specifically what we're wanting. Fish. <laughs> Fish. Yes, good girl. Big reward. Big reward. There we have. Go fish. Simple basket with a lead. Missy, come. Come. Good girl. Yes, you did great. Come around. Come around. Sit. Drop. Good job. Awesome, guys. So that is how you teach your dog to go fishing. Have great fun with it. If you're wanting to, also, I forgot to mention, you can put a little treat inside the basket. I just find with Misty, she finds that quite difficult to get her nose into there. So we don't do that. I prefer just also to reward her from my hand. Um, just also builds up my connection with her as to that's, that's how we train. Um, but yeah, you can absolutely, if you're wanting to try to get the dog to get down to that basket or... Um, whatever you're using to be lifted, you can pop a treat in there. That may also assist you. If you have any other questions in regards to this trick, pop them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, thank you for watching today. Enjoy teaching your dog how to go fishing. It's so much fun and we will see you all again soon, won't we? Are you going to speak? Say goodbye. Goodbye. Speak. Yes, good girl. Can you speak? Speak. Can't hear you. Speak. Big one. Loud. Speak. Speak. <laughs> Good girl. Good job. See you guys. I hope you enjoyed our tutorial today. 
please give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss our weekly releases. If you would like to see more videos of this level, check out our playlists. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. Links are in our description below.